This are all the dismantle units of the extension socket, and I make it better by cleaning up. Boom. I think this is looking amazing. And you can see how clean the body is looking. The Hello guys. Welcome back. Today, I want to show you step by step on how to fix and upgrade your extension socket. Note. Extension socket don't get bad totally, on else you don't know how to fix it properly. And with this video, you will get to know all the step by step process to fix and upgrade your extension at home. So watch the video till the end, don't miss any step, and let drive into the processing. I turned the scrap extension socket down, I came up with my screwdriver to unscrew all the coupling terminal of the extension socket for assessment. Now I opened the back cover of the extension socket. I peeled out the extension socket cable insulation. I brought out my multimeter for the extension socket wiring connection testing. I on the multimeter and selected its selector switch to continuity. And you can hear the sound as the multimeter buzzer anytime it sends continuity. I read the red wire to the extension socket terminal, and it is continuity which means the wire did not break and is okay. I read the black wire to the extension socket terminal, and it is continuity as well. I read the green wire to the extension socket terminal, but it did not have continuity which means the wire is broken. I went ahead to read the extension socket switch. But unfortunately, the switch is went bad because it has no continuity. I read the extension socket voltmeter and it did not have continuity which is normal. I read from the output of the extension socket switch, to every live terminals of the extension socket, and see yourself how it went. After the test, it obvious that all the live terminals of the extension socket are all in good condition. Now over to the neutral terminals of the extension socket, let's check it out. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button, to notify you when others video are available. After the test it obvious that all the neutral terminals of the extension socket are all in good condition. I moved to the extension socket earth terminal testing. It also sure that all the earth terminals of the extension socket are all in good condition. So based on the tests that have been carried out on this extension socket, is both extension socket cable, and the switch that are bad. Every other things are in good condition. We are done with the test reading of the extension socket, now moving to the upgrading process. I went ahead to lose the extension cable clip. I pulled up the cable and cut off the cable terminals been connected to the extension socket. After done, I went ahead to remove the extension switch, and disconnect it as well, with the voltmeter. I used my screwdriver to pull up all the earth terminal, from the extension socket and separate it from the body. I did the same to the neutral terminal. and I cut off the neutral indicator leg, that has been collected to the neutral terminal of the extension. I proceeded by pulling off all the live terminal from the extension. Cut off the link wire to the indicator lights, and separate those units from its body. I went ahead by unscrewing and removing all the insulation block from the extension body. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button, to notify you when others video are available. And I so went ahead by removing the insulation plastic being attached. I unscrewed the two ports terminals of the extension. Next by removing the two port insulation from the extension body.
I disengaged the earth terminals from the soldered wire by cutting it off. I did the same process to the live terminal. And same thing applied to the neutral terminals too. This are all the dismantle units of the extension socket, and I make it better by cleaning up. Boom. I think this is looking amazing. And you can see how clean the body is looking. The coupling process started by fixing in the three ports insulation to the extension body surface. And same thing for the two ports. Next by fixing the insulation block to the extension body. I went ahead by putting screws in all the two ports coupling parts, and I screw it down all. The same processing applied to the three ports terminals of the extension body. Next by slotting the earth terminals to the required part in the extension body. And the slotting processing continue apply to the others terminals. Please don't forget to like. Subscribe. And turn on the notification button, to notify you when others video are available. Now I went to read the extension switch with multimeter, to see if is okay by reading the continuity, but it did not continue. I carried out same test on another extension switch, but however it okay and it good for the project. I slotted in the extension voltmeter to the extension body, and also mount the extension switch, and screw it down. I came out with my soldering accessories for soldering processing, and also with three pieces 1.5 mm wire, for the jump connections for the three current terminals. I went ahead by marking out the soldering point part of the live wire. Marking out the earth wire soldering point too. And same thing applied to the neutral wire. I started the soldering process, but during the process the DC soldering iron cannot complete the process. And I later went for the soldering iron, AC 220 volt 60 volt. This is the result after soldering. This is 3 core 1.5 cable for the extension cable. And is now mounted on the extension body for connection. Now solder to the extension. This is the live wire connection that feeds all the live terminals of the extension socket. This wire connection feed all the earth terminals in the extension socket. And the last wire connection feed all the neutral terminal in the extension socket. This is the end of the extension cable. This is the 220 volt 13 amp plug. And is being connected to the extension cable, by yellow to earth terminal, red to live terminal, and blue to neutral terminal. And I coupled the plug back by its screw. Last but not the list, I placed the extension back cover and continued the screwing process. Now this what I got. Testing time. The extension socket has been powered, as you can see in the voltmeter, and the indicator light of the extension. I tested all the live terminals with electrical tester. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button, to notify you when others video are available. You can see the results is good. I plugged in phone charger, to test run by charging this power bank. You can see the power bank is charging successfully. And I carried out the same test on other units circuit of the extension socket. And it worked perfectly. With this, I can assure you that this extension socket is 100% upgraded and more active than before.